okay guys so today we are doing uh, the recent cold forces round c question right uh binary strings are fun so is this you have been given a t number of test cases the n is the length of string then there is a string which is given to you consist it's a binary string so it consists of zero one only and then you need to calculate the answer for this you know print some answer what is the answer is equal to summation of this function from uh on all the prefix of s you know from one to one to and one silica n to one silica n yeah on so all these string you have to calculate this function and then you have to return the answer though this function is basically they have been shown that uh first let's see like what they have shown so they are saying the fact value of function is the number of possible uh good extension of the the string okay you will uh, have a string for example you have a string uh you for example you have the string right let's see copy this example let me paste it over here oh 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 um right for example you have the string so uh, you have all the possible substring you can break at any point right you can break this at any point for example this is a substring this is a string okay uh, so basically this is a prefix so you can let's say if we are at this prefix so you want to calculate good extension for this okay it's a good extension number of good extension okay number of good extension of this Okay, now uh, you should have no like you should know what is the good extension means. Good extension is basically extending a string of length, let's say k, to a string of length 2k minus 1. That's all right. So, uh, yeah, basically, for example, if this is the original string, you uh, insert some characters between the adjacent characters, something like that. This is the extension. Uh, I'm showing it by underscore, and then in the place of underscore, you can place anything, right? You can place anything you can place over here zero or you can place one or anything right but the thing is that uh this uh now this uh, is an extension this will be good extension when all the odd indexes which all the indexes so this uh, if it talks about like as you know code forces talks about one indexing one two three four five six seven eight and nine so odd indexing are those actually you can see which are already filled right so odd indexes uh element present at odd indexes should be median of the prefix like for example uh, this third index pay whatever is present zero is present so zero should be median of all this uh one two three structuring okay when it is a median when the zero amount of zero is greater than amount of one so basically here it should be zero yeah there is no like if you do one over here then this uh like for example this would not be any good extension now the thing is that this a uh, substring you know which you created is actually consisting of the uh you know because you are just extending your prefix so first of all you have just one when you uh okay so two into one minus one so it doesn't have any uh, so this is the only good uh, extension for this possibility yeah. now you have one zero uh the second prefix would come one zero then prefix would come one zero one right and then uh prefix would come one zero one one and then we'll come one zero one one zero and then it would come uh we are we are dealing with one zero double one zero right <laughs> what was that uh i think yeah we were dealing with a one zero double one zero yeah so that's what it is and uh, now we are calculating good extension but before that you will if you calculate good extension for this like one and inserting something in between and there is zero and that zero a number of zero should be greater than this so now zero and one you know as you see these two strings these two indexes are different so you need to have a zero over here you need to have a zero to make this zero a uh, median okay to make this extension a good because then only the number of zero would be greater than number of one so there is only one possibility when you insert zero if you insert one it's not a good extension right so only one possibility for this how many possibilities okay one uh then uh you have something like underscore then you have zero then you have underscore then you have zero now for this index you, you have already calculated the answer that for this there is only one possible good string and that would be that so only one is the answer for this case and you know now what can you place over here now as you see Till this point sorry it should be zero now uh, till this point number of zeros are greater than number of one Wait, till which point till this point number of zero are greater than number one now there are two spaces more so one is already zero and other is something you know now if here till this point if you till this point 
which point till this point number of zero is greater than number of one so uh and this is also zero so this point also abhi ke liye, uh, so whatever you place over here if you place one or if you place zero the number of zeros will always gonna be greater than number of one for example if even if you place one still at this point number of zeros are three number of ones are two which is good so uh if this is good then uh this will always be good so you have two options over here so that's why you have uh okay uh, i did a mistake something like that and then this is the thing so what mistake we did we thought it is one double zero but it is one zero one so you know over here it's one and over here there is a majority of zero so there should be one to make this at least equal so you again have just one possibility and uh, you know now when you have two strings equal now then you will have two possibility so you have to just check out the pattern the pattern is this like uh when you have uh now for example uh, now you see the last two digits these are not equal then you again will have one because till there till this point there is a majority of one and then there is a gap okay there is a majority of one and then there is a gap and then there is a zero now till this point you want a majority of zero how you can have majority of zero if at this point there is majority of one for example in worst case if the majority of one is like for example there is three one okay and there are uh two zero okay now uh this is the because this has to be at least uh because in the worst case there can be all one you know then you don't even have any way because even if you put zero over here it doesn't make sense right so uh we are taking that okay we just uh, uh in there is just one possible case when there are three ones and two zeros there is still majority of one and there is still like you know uh maximum amount of zero you can have which is two so then you can make it again zero to make uh you know uh the majority of zero till this point otherwise it's just not possible so that's the whole idea if the uh you know if these two elements become equal you will just multiply by two if they are not equal you will just bring back everything to one right and and then so you if you have again like one zero double one zero and then one then again it would be one because last index are not equal but when one one zero one one you will make it two and when again you one zero one one zero one 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 you will make it four because till this point there is majority of one and number of possibilities to make this uh good extension for this quiz uh, two and you have this one you want to place something over here so that till this point majority should be one already majority is one till this point because there is a majority of one four one and then five one whatever you place over here zero or one it doesn't matter so you can just multiply this by two because you know uh this how like permutation works like uh you can if you make zero over here and then there are you know that's how permutation works so you can place anything over here you have two options so multiply it by two so that's why and again if one comes so majority is still one and you can play zero or one so made uh, into two again so for that you know for the next one you will have eight uh but i missed something in the middle like the zero one zero zero one one zero one 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 and over here it's zero one 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 four ones right and that's what it is that's what it is this answer four if you sum all these things it is three plus uh two then uh you know five uh three plus two five then plus two seven then plus two nine nine plus twelve is twenty one that is the answer for this See, Kelly, answer is twenty-one. So that's what you need to do. Very simple code is already written over here. Uh, I'll write again for you guys. Uh, it's not a big thing. Very simple. Very simple. No DB, no power, nothing. Just uh, a simple, you know, checking the last two indexes whether they are equal, not equal. If they are equal, multiply by two. If they are not equal, just bring back everything to one. So first, you have a you know this all things i did but first let it be the simple thing right uh why i did that you obviously can see i made long long you can either have you know that thing or you can do this c in a uh, t and while t minus minus and int uh n c in n and then you have a a string uh s c in your string and then you will start from int i is equal to one I less than and why we have to start from one because for zero length string it doesn't matter it always gonna be give us answer one so uh, initialize your a variable as one 
which is your you know uh, it's a variable like it will be uh, it can be multiplied by 2 or we bring it to 0 at some cases of 1 sorry and sum is the basically where you are summing all these up okay you are uh, you are this is your a like 1 1 1 this 2 this 1 then this 2 4 8 this is your a varying from 2 it become 1 it can become 1 or it can become 2 to 4 by multiplying it by 2 or you can just bring it to but sum is basically you have to multiply uh, sum this up na 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 so this is for summation you know sm and then i plus plus and then you have to see if your s of i is equal to equal to s of i minus 1 you gonna be a into 2 and then sm plus gonna be a right and then uh, otherwise what you gonna do is a bring back to 1 and sm plus equal to 1 just you know uh, just only one possible good substring for this uh, up to this index right uh, yeah uh, good uh, sequence whatever and then this is whole this is all this is all right uh, like over here if you have to see out sm it would work it would work for smaller cases like this or it and over here it should work for these cases n have not defined so 113 this is good but you know uh, you are actually adding up some large numbers so uh, let's take long long ll is equal to long long and then uh, just uh, you know make everything long long you can make this long long this long long everything just make it long long and other thing is that uh, a you have to take mod with some specific number you know they have been given a mod mod sorry mod and then for sm you have to take mod sm mod equal to mod and then over here uh, a is good but sm can be mod and over here sm mod mod and then mod is equal to something like this right is equal to a not solve let's submit this up it was really simple question man the statement was big but question was really really simple as you can see it's accepted and uh, yeah accepted so that was all about this simple question man just uh, if the last two things are equal you will just multiply it by 2 otherwise you'll bring bracket to 1 and sm plus 1 sm plus a just for calculating the sum otherwise what you can do you can make dpra some guys have made a dpra and stored this uh, like you know every possibility and then at last they take sum some guys even had made 2 dpra no need of that just two variables can work for this okay guys okay bye